How's it going guys? Holden here with Manga Pursuit and this week's topic was the pricing of manga and what we think about it. Uh, well, what I think about it is when it all started, which was I think in 1986 was when the first manga came to the US, well, it wasn't a bound volume, it was like a comic book where it was 20 pages and that was it. And I believe that was I My Goddess, uh, not too sure that I think it was. Because I'm pretty sure it's the longest running series in the US to date because it's still being released by Dark Horse, but now in bound volumes. But uh, what I wanted to talk about was like the history that I know about it, which was um, uh, it kind of started with Viz uh, releasing stuff for $7.95 was I believe the oldest in 2003, maybe a couple years earlier, maybe 2001 or something. But uh, it was around, yeah, I think it was $7.95, and then it went up to $7.99, yeah. And then in 2010, we had the huge jump from $7.99 to uh, $9.99, which was pretty insane. Um, to put that in, uh, like, put that in, like, scale it kind of, uh, before you could walk into a store with forty dollars, or you go online with forty dollars, and buy what? You could buy, I think, you could buy five manga for seven ninety five. That's excluding tax. But now, if you have forty dollars, you could only buy four because they're nine ninety nine. That's also excluding tax, which is kind of insane. I mean, um, how you could lose like that much? Like that's a whole like two hundred pages usually. I mean, that's pretty crazy. But, uh, that's kind of just a minor thing, um, I think Viz is pretty, ch it's like, they're trying to, they think they own the market, which in, uh, to be truthfully honest, uh, truly honest, I think they kind of do right now, actually. Uh, because ever since they changed, everyone else changed, because Viz is kind of, dominates, I think, 50% of all manga is dominated by them, usually. Uh, Dark Horse uh, started off really expensive. Um, I believe Helsing and stuff like Berserk is uh, $15.99 sometimes and $14.99, which is pretty amazingly expensive. Uh, don't usually know why. They, they say because they shrink wrap their stuff, or at least they used to, but um, no, that doesn't make much sense considering uh, Nagima used to be shrink wrapped up until volume 12, I think, in here in the US. And then fans started complaining about how it would like destroy it or something, but then they stopped that. Because Air Gear, Air Gear was done until volume 14 it was the only one that I never saw shrink wrapped. Everyone else, I got shrink wrapped, but I've never seen it like that anymore. Makes me feel special. <laughs> but um, basically, there's that. And there was Tokyo Pop. And at the same time when Viz was doing the 799 stuff, Tokyo Pop was doing. Um, they were doing 999 stuff already, uh, like five years before the whole 999 thing even started. Um, but since everything is 999 now, um, it, they're coming. They're becoming more desirable because now they're kind of just evenly, uh, evenly priced. But uh, I still buy 795 things. Like I got Hikaru no Go like volumes two through six, like just a week ago, 40 bucks and. Very happy with that series, actually. Uh, side the point, though. Um, what else we got? Uh, Del Rey was a new contender, and their 1095 was the average volume, and uh, they came out around 2003, 2004. So that was pretty high, actually, at the time too. Although now they're at their last breath of life, they're trying to save people money with their omnibus volumes. Of um, they did a lot. They did. Uh, what? They did Air Gear, uh, Musishi, uh, yeah, I can't think of any others. Um, they were gonna say Rave Master, I'm not sure who's gonna do that anymore. Uh, and I think they did Samurai Deeper Kyo, I think they saved it, and I think they released the final, I think they released 36 through 38, or I think they released 35 and 36 is one, and 36, 37 one or 37 38 I don't know even how many volumes are in deeper Kyo cuz I don't have it um, Then you got some um, I think that's the major stuff cuz then you got the hardbacks uh, the omnibus by uh, Tokyo pop Which are about $25, but um, they're you know, they're pretty huge print um, And they're usually got hard covers. They're actually really good with omnibus, but I think they're my favorite company that does it um, 
Viz has $17 omnibuses, I think, which is um, that's a really good price, actually, compared to Delray's $21, I think. And um, what else do we got? Um, I think one of the weirdest pricing is whenever I find something that just goes really high up. Like, um, what was it? It was Black Cat. was, I think, $10.99 or $11. No, it was $10.99 or $9.99 at one point when I first started buying it. And now it's all the way up to, like, I think $12.99 or $11.99. I thought that was insane. Like, just this series has been going on so long that it's done that. Uh, I thought that was crazy. Just, like, I feel so old that I've been buying it for that long. Uh, but that's not kind of ranting on that. So, let me see if I got anything else to talk about. Okay, the last thing I want to talk about, actually, then, is, uh, the Viz Sig line, or Viz Signature line, um, their stuff's a little more expensive because it's, um, bigger print, like, uh, I think I, ha I actually just bought this today, along with, ooh, new Shonen Jump, ah, uh, um, this, uh, Monster, uh, <laughs> uh, 20th Century Boys by Naoki Urasawa, um, but this is actually, uh, 13, 12.99. I got it at Borders, uh, but I got it actually like I used 40% off coupon. I think yeah, I got 33% off plus an additional 10, and then I got yeah. Actually, that was it for this time. I didn't use my old employee discount, but uh, that was that's uh, because it's larger print and because um, what makes me kind of sad is I have my shelves that I made, and uh, it kind of doesn't hold this. It's like well, this one does, but. The other ones are like, it doesn't fit. It's very saddening. But now I'm making this video way too long, and who wants to watch this video of me talking about prices for that long? I'll tell you who, the guy who's still watching me to hear me rant. That's who. Uh, but I guess uh, that's all I gotta talk about for this week. Uh, hopefully next week I'll do better, because right now I'm just getting rid of files and stuff, but who needs to worry about my personal life because this is the internet where we don't have lives. So I guess until next week, I'll see you later.